Hello, it's me, French Ted, and we are here for episode number 71, uh, night four of our AEW All In Grand Prix. And yeah, the standings are starting to kind of take a bit of shape. Some people are losing non stop, some people are winning non stop. Uh, we've just got these seven matches tonight. Um, so that means that our exhibition match is a trios match, and it's uh, a very weird trios match. If um, I mean, you'll see it in a couple of minutes. But our main event for tonight, the pick of the bunch, is Prince Devitt taking on Kenny Omega. Prince Devitt looking for his first win, and Kenny Omega putting in some incredible matches, uh, especially after his opening day loss to Keith Lee. He seems unbeatable now. Um, but yeah, Prince Devitt, you can't write him off. He is incredible. Just had, you know, a really poor run as of late. Um, but yeah, we are joined again, as always, by Rene Paquette, RJ City and Paul White, who are our kind of spokespeople of tonight. But yeah, let's uh, just head straight into the exhibition trios match. <laughs> and it's uh, Darby Allen, Drew Galloway and Volta against Nick Jackson, Roosh, and Juice Robinson. Uh, so you can clearly see which matches are not happening tonight. There's two A block matches not happening and one B block match. And I kind of just randomly put these teams together because I didn't really know who really fits with who. I was going to have like Drew on one side, Volta on the other, but then I was like, they're currently leading A block. So I think it'd be better if they team together for this, you know, kind of a bit of a dynamic, you know, trying to outdo each other. Um, and let's just see what happens. So in about her great wrestling in 86, just want to point out, um, Darby Allen, Drew Galloway and Volta get the win against Nick Jackson, Roosh and Juice Robinson in 23 minutes when Drew Galloway pins Roosh with the Claymore kick. Uh, Drew Galloway getting the win. And I like to imagine post-match he kind of got the win. And while he's pinning Roosh, he's staring down uh, Volta who is just on the side just watching him. Um, and I believe, I might be wrong, but I think I'm correct, uh, Night 5 features Drew Galloway against Volta. And I'm probably going to make that the main event uh, to see who will end up top of the group or block. Well, let's get used to saying the word block. Uh, but yeah, that is our opening bout. Um, a really fun exhibition match here. Definitely big guys in Darby Allen versus slightly littler guys although Roosh is a bit of a tank and Juice is quite big as well Nick Jackson's the little one um yeah three people in this match are still looking for their first win as well Darby Allen Nick Jackson and Juice Robinson Juice has only actually had one match and forfeit forfeited the first two uh but yeah we've spent way too much time on this exhibition one let's go into our first block match which is John Moxley and Adam page a 92 bit of a lack of psychology apparently oh this could have been so good i'm just looking at this hold on hold on john moxley adam page have great chemistry they both got a 98 why is this only a 92 uh in about that had sensational wrestling we've only ever seen that once before and great heat john moxley defeats hangman page in 16 minutes with the bull dog choke john moxley continues his undefeated run why wasn't this higher uh, penalised for holding back. Why are you holding back? And lack of psychology. I mean, guys, come on. This could have been such a good match. I mean, it is. A 92 is incredible. But I'm just thinking about these numbers. The 98-98. The great chemistry. I mean, oh. but either way, John Moxley gets the win. Hangman Page uh, loses, unfortunately. So John Moxley, I think, is now on six points. Or four points. Six points. Yeah, he's had three matches, three wins. Or a night four. He had one time when he wasn't. Yeah. John Moxley, I believe, is now leading uh, block B with his six wins. Let's continue with the next block match, which is Zack Sabre Jr. taking on Matt Cardona. And in about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Can you believe it? Matt Cardona gets the win. He defeats Zack Sabre Jr. in 19 minutes 16. So close to a time limit draw with the Rough Rider. Uh, this is part of the all-in. Why am I reading that? I'm just excited. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. with an 81. Matt Cardona with a 70. Arr, still got the win though. Uh, so that means Matt Cardona gets his first points 
of the All In Grand Prix. And post-match, MJF leaps over the barricade from the crowd where he's sitting front row and over-celebrates with Matt Cardona. He's got his first win and MJF looks like a proud father. Steph Delander's just standing there being Steph Delander, but she's also a little bit happy for her boy, Matt Cardona. 99 segment. I mean, it's MJF and Matt. I'm going to say that every time. They're amazing. I love them. You love them. Well, I hope you do. Um, and yeah, MJF is definitely going to be partying tonight with Cardona and Delanda after Matt's first win. Uh, we continue with some block action where we have... Jeff Cobb taking on Pac in an about that had great wrestling in an 88 rated match. Pac defeats Jeff Cobb. Mr. Inform has lost, I believe, his first match of the All In Grand Prix, meaning that Pac gets the win. And I think Pac is now on five po points. The only man. No, he's not. Not the only man. Oh, pardon me. Because Brian Danielson is also on odd points. Uh, but Pac is now on five points. Um. Uh, which puts him in second place now, I think, in the B block. I mean, we're going to have to just wait and see at the end of the video. But Jeff Cobb with a 75, which isn't very good given that he's got amazing form. Uh, but Pack with an 89. I mean, Pack is incredible. We love Pack. Um, yeah, great win for Pack. Great, great win. Two more points in his pocket. Let's continue with the show where we have got Jay White taking on Miro. Well, that rhymed. Um, and in about that had great wrestling and good heat, Jay White gets the win. He defeats Miro with a Blade Runner. 80-rated uh, match. Honestly, probably could have been a bit better, but oh well. Uh, Jay White with an 84, Miro with an 84, sharing that in-ring performance. And Jay White gets himself another win. I believe Jay White lost last time out. Um, who it was against, I can't remember because that was a night ago. Uh, Miro did get his first win, I think, last week against Matt Cardona. Well, not last week, last night against Matt Cardona. Um, so, yeah, he's sitting pretty on two. I think Jay White is now on four points. So, go on, Jay. Uh, well done. But you've got a lot of catching up to do if you want to catch up to Volta and Drew Galloway, who are both on six and have the night off. Um, so... Yeah, figure that out. But one of them, um, or actually, no, if they draw, then it'll stay the same, obviously. But um, they will be facing each other next time out. That is Miro and Drew Galloway. But yeah, eight rated match. It's fine. Let's go into our next block match. Oh, an 85. Honestly, thought to be a bit better. Keith Lee was off his game and still got an 87. In a bout that had superb wrestling, my favorite word, and great heat. Keith lee defeats the world light heavyweight champion brian danielson in 1824 with the spirit bomb brian had many many close chances in this one almost making keith lee tap with the label lock but keith lee is keith lee and i i think keith lee is now probably the favorite in this block i mean we have got the world heavyweight champion so we'll have to see what happens there but yeah keith lee is killing it right now uh, well done, Keith. Um, the international champion really flexing everything he's got, getting the crowd buzzing in an 85-rated match. Daniel Bryan still sitting on one point. Uh, but keep in mind, he has had to face Pac, Keith Lee, and John Moxley. So I'm sure he'll get some more points from somewhere. Moving on, I believe you've got two more matches on this card. Uh, if I can remember correctly, it's Bandido and Will Ospreay. And then it's also our main event of Kenny Omega taking on Prince Devitt. Let's move on and see if I'm right. Of course, whenever I say that, there's a segment. Um, Rene Paquette is just talking to Kenny Omega ahead of the main event. And Kenny says, yes, Prince Devitt is yet to win a match. But that doesn't really count for anything in the All In Grand Prix or in any tournaments like this. A win and a loss or a draw can come at any time. So you have to stay on your top top form and yes i'm aware of devitt's threat i've seen him in action before i've watched him for years and i'm just hoping that i can come out the winner um, because i'm very excited about this main event as am i kenny as am i i'm very excited too so do not let me down um but let's return to the ring now where i think it is will osprey and bandido 
Yes, it is. Oh, an 87. Wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, in a bout that had superb wrestling, my favourite word, and a decent reaction from the crowd, Will Ospreay gets the win and defeats Bandido in 13 minutes with the Storm Breaker. I marked this one as a high spots match because why not? And it did well. Bandido with an 85 and Will Ospreay with a 93. Not enough selling shown here. Will Ospreay has a real problem selling moves. Uh, but they've got great chemistry, which is amazing to see. An 87, love that. Bandido with an 87 singles match. I mean, it is Will Ospreay, but still awesome. But that does mean that Will Ospreay, I believe, is now on four points. Bandido still sitting on two from his forfeit win. So is it really a win then? I don't know. Um, but yeah, great match. Great, great match. Is that the match of the night so far? I can't remember. No, 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 it's not. We had Pack and Hangman Page. Ignore me. Um, no, not Pack and Hangman Page. John Moxley Hangman Page. No. Who do we have? My mind has gone to spaghetti. Anyways, let's move on. I believe it's the main event now. Here we go. Next segment. Who you got? A 79. What? Prince Devitt was really off his game with a 67. Wow. In a bout that had great wrestling, apparently, and good heat, Kenny Omega defeats Prince Devitt in 19 minutes, 27, with the one winged angel. I mean, Kenny Omega taking advantage of Prince Devitt being really off his game. This is not Devitt's tournament so far. My goodness. I mean, I can see him going the whole route now with no wins um but he really needs to sort his life out a 79 that was our main event that's the worst match of the night matt cardona and zach saber jr did better than that i mean that's nothing against them they're both fantastic but that's really going to affect our score i think uh so let's just finish the show now kenny with another win um i believe kenny's now on four or six points something like that uh but let's end the show and see how we did a 78 i think that's a little bit harsh given that we've got a an 86 rated match a 92 rated match an 80 rated match an 88 rated match an 80 another 80 rated match an 85 rated match an 87 rated match like there's nothing here on the main show under 70 oh it's at this point about storylines oh okay that knocked us down I see. What storylines were included? Oh, we didn't have the um, Roberts family one because Drew Galloway didn't have him ringside. We had the MJF storyline. That's fine. And I think that was it. Yeah, that's my bad. Either way, we haven't lost popularity anywhere. So that's fine. 78. Eh, what are you going to do? Um, but that doesn't really correlate with what we've got here. Uh, we've got some great, great matches here. But let's not dwell on this screen. Let's look at the one that's important. Let's look at the current standings. So if I have done my math correctly, which I believe I have, uh, Walter and Drew Galloway are still at the top of block A with six points. Jay White and Will Ospreay's win mean that they both jump up to joint second, you could say, with four points. Um, Matt Cardona getting his first win tonight, bumping him a little bit up to two points. And then looking in block B, uh, John Moxley and Kenny Omega join Keith Lee at the top with six points. So the three of them are chilling. Uh, we've also got Pac sitting on an awkward five points after his win tonight. Jeff Cobb still on four points from last week. Hangman Page, Roosh still on four points. And the same with Brian Danielson after losing with the one point. So, so far we've got four members of the grand prix juice robinson darby allen prince devitt and nick jackson all on zero points they could all get points still because they are all facing each other so someone's going to get two or they might all get one uh, but that is our current standings volta galloway moxley lee omega all sitting with three wins each some of them undefeated because obviously omega's had more matches than i believe everyone else so yeah uh very interesting it's starting to shape up a little bit nicely uh next week uh at the all in grand prix night five our main event will be drew galloway facing volta so that will be really exciting uh but before that we do have aew collision uh that will be our next show 
And yeah, standalone one, just like the one that Dynamite had. Look, I'm quite looking forward to doing these because I'm trying to book them with as few Grand Prix people as possible. So it's kind of forcing me to get a little bit creative on what we do and what stories we progress. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much. Um, really, really lackluster main event. Prince Devitt, what are you doing to me? Um, but yeah, let's end it here. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Yeah.